Hey, hey, it's Mark with Lifecycle Insights. In this quick video, I'm going to be talking about ConnectWise Manage Opportunities. Lifecycle Insights is happy to announce that we have released our initial integration with ConnectWise Manage in Opportunities, specifically when you are working with Lifecycle Insights recommendations. You will now be able to, one, create a, a ConnectWise Manage Opportunity in Lifecycle's platform, number two, link to an existing ConnectWise Manage opportunity, and number three, unlink a previously linked ConnectWise Manage opportunity from our recommendations um, uh, section. <clears throat> First and foremost, you have to make sure that the API security role has the correct permission set, and I'll drop that link in the description of this video. If you're using IT Glue like I am in, in my demo site, if you're using IT Glue with a supplemental um, data integration, um, with ConnectWise Manage, you have to ensure that opportunities are checked in the administration section. So right here, integrations, my ConnectWise PSA integration, and make sure that that is enabled right here with that check mark. Okay. Quick note, you'll only be able to associate one ConnectWise Manage opportunity to a lifecycle recommendation. So if you have to make multiple, please do. Let me show you where to find that recommendation real quick. So I'm gonna go ahead and create a recommendation and I'll just put new recommendation uh, video, a uh, demo video. And I'll select the date range of next month. And then let's say this is just proposed. Um, let's, let's add an asset. Uh, let's go with this workstation right here. Hit close. Um, in the and just to show you, I'm going to go ahead and add a couple of labor materials. Um, ooh, labor is a little too much. Materials, let's say one hundred dollars. So you can see that in the description and whatnot. Um, contact. Can manage a contact uh, for you on here uh, and whatnot. So I'm just going to go hit save. And you now have this ConnectWise opportunity right here. I'm going to go ahead and create a ConnectWise opportunity or link it to an opportunity that I already have. Um, and the summary name is our, our Lifecycle Insights new recommendation demo video that um, was right here. Um, the close date is uh, uh, May 1st because that's the start date for us. Um, it's, uh, uh, let's see, it's, it's prospecting right now because it's proposed. Contact is Alex. Um, rating is hot uh, and whatnot. And, I, and you see the total estimates. That's what's in the description below. So I'm just going to go ahead and hit save and return. And once that is saved, that ConnectWise opportunity is now open right here. And I will show you that in the, um, uh, in the list view and all that good stuff. So this is the list view for it. Where's that demo videos right there. We don't have that. Oh, uh, here's a button, show ConnectWise opportunities and boom, right there are your opportunities that you can link. Um, you can also see that in the roadmap board. I No, no, roadmap. Yeah, roadmap board. Those are the ConnectWise opportunities right there. Um, a quick note, um, the feature is not available in the report builder recommendation list. Um, the report builder recommendation roadmap and the recommendation roadmap itself. Um, uh, once you create any opportunity in Lifecycle in Insights, any edits will need to be made in ConnectWise Manage. You can't directly edit a recommendation um, in Lifecycle Insights. All right, well, um, uh, if you have any questions, please reach out to our support team at support at lifecycleinsights.io. Make sure you like and subscribe and hit that notification bell so you can be part of our notification squad. And as always, have a wonderful day and happy life cycling.